to count the number of homeless students. The reason there are so many definitions. Does homeless include a child staying in a shelter on a friend's couch or sleeping in a car? And despite how you describe it, many school districts in our area are seeing a spike in the number of children who don't have an address to fill in when they sign up for school. Christina Medina takes a closer look at the growing problem. Kristen, Mark, we've been looking through numbers for weeks, and we want to show you this example because the numbers are so shocking. Back in 2007, there were 3,569 homeless students reported in the state of Kansas. Now, in 2011, the numbers skyrocket to 8,996 students. When you do the math, that adds up to a 60% increase in just a couple years. This is my side of the room. 18 year old Zachary Zumwalt gives us a tour of his room. Bath stuff. It's filled with movie posters. Clean clothes I need to put away. And his stereo. I love and joy. But what Zach's most grateful for? I haven't actually had my own room or half a room at that ever. Split. His cousin lets him share the room. Do you have an A? It was just last summer when Zach ended up homeless and unaccompanied youth. He was sleeping on the floor with four other family members in one room, but his mother kicked Zach out. She just said, don't come home. Don't ever, I don't want to see you again. And I didn't know what to do. I, you know, I just, I kind of wanted to give up. You have to make it co -sign. And at his school alone, William Christman High School in Independence, there are 47 homeless students. Um, we spend a lot, a lot of time, probably every day, just making sure those students are receiving the services that they need, um, whether that be that they have transportation to get to and from school based on where they might be uh, sleeping at the time, and that can change from day to day, week to week. 750 homeless students in the entire Independence school district. In Kansas City, Missouri, public schools, 852. In the state of Kansas, almost 9,000 students. We've definitely seen uh, with the school, school districts the last few years, the numbers going up. Jason works with Kids TLC, based out of Olathe. They work with Synergy and Restart. It's been really nice getting out here. At least three times a week, these groups go out hoping to connect. Trying to reach them before they hit the streets, before they become adults and become homeless, and just really trying to provide them the right resources. And it's an National trend. One of our growing concerns is the number of younger children who experience homelessness. We know, for example, that of kids who are living in federally funded homeless shelters, 53% are under the age of six. But Duffield says there are still those families who don't tell anyone. Children who are experiencing homelessness are essentially invisible in the classroom as well as in the community. Then there's a real struggle to, to help them, and they often fall through the cracks. This is a March 1st deadline. While the numbers continue to grow, educators try their best to provide support. It breaks your heart, but you can't let it break your heart. Because Hurt says there's work to do. And in some cases, despite all the obstacles, these students find a way to succeed. I guess I'm tired of failure. I'm tired of seeing so many people fail and the failure of my family and, you know, every, you know, I'm like a first generation college student. Co -signing goals one half. That's right. Zach has plans to make it to college. He just received a $20,000 scholarship to attend any school he wants. His dream? I want to be a surgeon. He is also a finalist in the competitive six-year pre-med program at UMKC. He is so persistent, his drive and, and his determination to just succeed at, at all costs, but yet do it so with with such humility. Zach says the most important thing he's learned, ask for help. People don't realize how many resources are out there for homeless and unaccompanied youth students. And these resources kind of give you the hope and the, you know, the, I don't know, the drive to keep going. And somehow, Zach says, the rest becomes possible. And because he is so humble, he didn't say this part, but Zach is the only national recipient in the state of Missouri for this $20,000 scholarship. That's fantastic. Oh, and when does he find out about pre-med at UMKC? We're going to find out in April if he gets in, so everybody's fingers are crossed. Oh, you bet. <laughs> quite, a, quite an amazing and guy. Mine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, he said that the key is to ask for help, so how can right. we help him and, and so many of the other people like well, him? We mentioned there are several groups out there that are trying to help these kids, so we've posted their information and how you can get involved all on KSHB.com under special projects. So. Very important story. Very cool. Thanks, Thanks. Christine.